Afternoon. Hello you. Hello. Go on in. Come on. <laughs> Okay, welcome to another video. This is a quite a short video. Just uh, spending my Sunday afternoon in Midhurst. I've done some, uh, I've done some bits and pieces for a friend in, in their house, and I thought I'd take the opportunity to have a little scout around Midhurst. I've been to the ruins. I just wanted to talk to you about a subject that pops up a lot, especially where I do workshops throughout the day. Uh, I tend to tell people I don't shoot landscapes during the day and especially like at midday sun. You see the sun's coming out at the moment. So midday sun for landscape photographers is generally a no-no and there are a few reasons why. Uh, the sun being so high in the sky, imagine your subject being lit by a key light from directly above. It's not gonna make for a, flat, a flattering image, especially uh, you know, no matter what your subject is, it could be a person. We generally don't don't light our subjects from directly above them. We generally light from in front or just to the side, but it's generally at a low angle. It's never directly above or from above. <coughs> and the same principle applies to landscapes. So shadows from a, a light directly above is not very flattering, no matter what your subject is, like I've just, uh, just said. But with any subject, lit like that they're just, just not going to look right so most photographers will tell you the best time to shoot is the golden hour now if you haven't heard this before the golden hour is that sort of hour before and after sunrise and the same for sunset and the reason for that is that because the sun is so low even when the sun is out before it's even dipped below the horizon the the light coming from the sun has to bypass the ozone at such a such an angle that it actually diffuses the light and actually you get a nice golden light that's why they call it the gold now you don't get that from the sun directly above you because it's coming straight down and there's the the, the layer of ozone is a lot thinner than if it's cutting across the ozone layer and it actually gets diffused by that and the colors are different and that's the reason why most landscape photographers will shoot at those times there are a couple of reasons why you would shoot during the day and a, a couple of scenarios where it's okay to shoot during the day and I do this quite a bit. The first one is long exposure photography. Now long exposure photography is great during the day because as long as you have interest in the subject you're shooting or, or something around the subject, say for instance clouds. If you've got a nice cloud cover, today's not very, very good because the clouds are quite puffy and they're, they're quite thin, but if you've got a good cloud cover and it's windy enough that those clouds are moving through your image, especially from either left to right or right to left, you get a really good like stream of clouds that goes really nicely across your image. Uh, if you shoot that during the day and you've got a subject like a pier and you're near water, even better because the movement in the water will be 
subject to the long exposure and it will flatten the water out and make it go milky especially if it's really rough and you're going to get waves and stuff crashing it's going to go like a white milky and you get that in a lot of the, the, the images that I've done recently I mean I'm by a lake today and I've just shot this lake it's not a very flattering image but the sun was actually diffused by, by clouds you see at the moment behind me the, the sun is, is about an hour away from sunset and it's behind clouds and that diffuses the light I haven't got a horrible shadows you can't see in the, in the video but there's a little yellow like bird feeder type table in the middle of the lake and behind it you've got uh, a funky little, little I don't even know what it's called to be honest with you but you'll see that in the picture in a second because I'll zoom in and show you but if the sun was hitting that from directly above it wouldn't be very flattering sometimes it's nice to have the sun behind maybe as a, as a backlight especially when you're doing uh, sunset shots but mainly you're going to want the sun pretty low in your sky to get that looking really really flattering so i hope this all makes kind of sense to you the reasons why we call it a golden hour and the reasons why i don't generally shoot during the day uh, apart from the two the two reasons being one good cloud cover so that the sun is diffused by clouds it's like having a big key light with a massive light box around it uh, so that's that's often good enough to shoot during the day and if you're doing long exposure photography and you've got movement in say the sky clouds or you're using uh, water as your subject or something around the water like a pier or something like that it's going to make for a really really good image so I hope this video has been helpful to you in understanding why it's not the best idea to shoot landscape photography during the day or at least at midday and uh, enable you to understand why you'd want to get out there first thing in the morning or last thing in the evening and take some pictures during the golden hour. Uh, like I say there are some caveats to that, there are a couple of reasons why I would shoot during the day if I had the situation was right but apart from that I don't shoot midday sun. So I hope you enjoyed this video, please if you did give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that little notification bell so you get updates every time I upload a new video and at the moment they're coming through thick and fast because I am doing quite a bit of photography recently you've probably noticed that my weddings have calmed down so I'm getting out a lot more doing a lot more landscape stuff so I hope you come with me on my journey and uh, we can learn something together cheers I'll see you soon bye